So where were we at so far? Oh, we were in the lovely town of Dumpus and I was digging a cesspit. That's right. Yeah. Man, I think you finished now <laughs> and you got your gold yeah. and you got your free food and you got your nice sleep overnight in that nice man's tent and you just remember you went really big and yeah, you I dug the big. cesspit out straight away. I, it turned into a tiny toothpick of a shovel which you think would be really inefficient but actually it was the reverse. That's right. Uh, you rise early, thank the householder and head out into the street. Within a few minutes of walking, you are out of Dumpus and back on the road. After another hour or so, the way branches with one path leading up into the hills, oh, the other that? turning downhill. Is that a village? And along one side of a barren, stony ridge. What is that, that a village you can make up on the top of the hill? I think I can see a village It there. seems a lonely place for it. What a lonely place. Oops. Literally Oops. next door to another village. Well, I went into the village. Um, by accident. Well, I would have done anyway. I misclicked. What's it called? It's called, I don't know, what's it called? Uh, it's called... We'll see. Urus, we'll see. Urustanti. 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 Um, so, here we go. The gentle upward slope becomes a steep climb and you are forced to rest several times. So far, you've oh, been no. walking through the foothills. Now the journey will become more serious. When finally you reach the summit and can look out over a low plateau you have crested, you see the path runs through a small settlement of crudely fashioned huts. Oh dear, there you go. There are villagers out in the street talking and working. It seems a happy, bustling place. Oh, doesn't so they're actually... It's a nice place. Doesn't really look like it, according to the picture. There's but... like a bird just hanging there. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, would you like to approach or watch for a while longer? Why does it give you watch for a while? Watch for a while longer. Maybe there's something that I will spot that's a bit suspicious. You stay at your vantage point and watch a while longer to see if things change. After a while, you begin to notice something strange about the way the people ah. in the village are moving. First, you notice one is limping, then another. Then you realise they are all shuffling as they move. Some use sticks. Oh. One is crawling. Oh, yeah, look at the picture. You can see. Look, they're all sort of. A they're, bit little, they're little gnomy and, people. And yeah. naked. Little weirdos. Don't call them weird weirdos. Little weird fellas. Look at them, the little they do weird look fellas. a bit weird in the picture. Um, well, this doesn't look good, does it? Um, I got a bad feeling about this. Shall I just watch more and just see what happens? I feel like. Something's unfolding before my eyes here. You stay hidden and watch for longer. After a while, you realise that whatever happen, what is, whatever is happening in the village, it is desperate. There is no laughter, no joy, no trade or commerce. The women do not walk about and the men do not watch them. It is like a prison camp. Now, OK, scroll back up, right? Right? So what does it say? The description of this village, right? There are villagers out on the street talking and working. It seems a happy, bustling place. That's right. But it turns out it's like a prison camp. That's right. Suddenly... <laughs> How? What? OK, so maybe my first impressions were totally wrong about the place. Yeah. OK. Oh... Maybe I can help them. Oh, shall I... I'm going to go and visit them. Oh. These people are in need of a saviour. Yes. You may not be that man, but you can try. You approach, arms open to show you are not a threat. But their message is not understood. The villagers see you and panic. They begin to scurry inside <laughs> their they, huts. Why would they panic? As if you what? were an army and not a lone What is there to panic traveller. about? Look, I have my arms open. <laughs> <laughs> their bodies are thin and malnourished. As they disappear through the doors, you notice some are missing limbs. Stop at a door and knock. Okay. You knock on one of the doors of the nearest hut. It's weird, isn't There it? is no reply. You've got a choice. Enter a hut, another hut, or leave the village. Oh, enter the hut. Let's do this. You push your way inside. You find the place to be an impoverished hovel. The hut has no furniture. A small fire burns in the middle of the floor, and by the far wall... An ill-looking family is huddling together. The woman lifts a shaking hand as if to hold you back. What would oh. you like to do? I oh, this all seems like a trap to me, and I, I've gone really into it. I can still leave. Oh, this doesn't seem good. 
just hold out a hand of friendship or cast a spell. I don't know what casting a spell. I can make them dance, I guess. But they're all, like, missing limbs. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good idea. Oh, God. They start dancing, they all just fall over. Oh, God, I don't want to do that. They're all hopping mean. around. Well, you've got other spells, you know. You could do all sorts of things. You can, you know, sense danger and things like this. Let's have a look at the spells, because there might be something useful here. Right. Maybe some got, put her at ease. Got. Whoa! There's a lot of weird... Cause fear? You don't want to do that, do you? Back cause fear, right. Uh, bear in mind I'm seeing this two seconds after I know, you. sorry. This one is uh, cause Dick. stupidity. No. Oh, that's no good at all. Duh. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we got? Have we got sense danger? No, we haven't actually. Ah, uh, okay. I wonder what that does. Rock. Oh, that, that must, I think that turns into stone. Yeah, okay, that's no good. <laughs> Uh, there's quite a lot of options here. Uh, F O F, I guess, is a force field. No, that's no good. Um, I don't want to do that. N, what's, what about option with N? N I F, I think, is nose plugs, actually. Let's see. Oh, no, create stench. Create stench? Yeah. <laughs> You're interested in creating. You don't have nose plugs, I so you can't, can't create it. stench. Um, what else have we got? I think that's about it, actually. Well, R. Do we do one begin with the R? Rock, yeah, that's oh, the yeah. rock one. I think that's all you've got there. That's all your options. None of them seem good, do they? No. Hmm. I think I'm just going to have to hold out my f hand in friendship. Oh, no, Simon. This is going to be bad. You put your hand out to greet the man. He shuffles over nervously oh. and grasps it with feeble strength. Are you magical, stranger? Are you not afraid of us? Afraid of you, never. Why? Why would you say that? Afraid of you more... more why? Why why, are you, why would you be afraid? All right, should I go afraid? Don't be why? rude, yeah. And I'll say, we're all lepers. This is a leper colony. Why, don't you know, he replies. We have the plague in this village. You spring back from him, but it is too late. You can feel the infection on the palm of your hand like a curse. Is there a cure? Well, what do you think? Well, maybe he will know. He'll say, yes, there is. Some say to drink the juice of the blimbery, but we have all tried so much oh, that no. no berries grow around the village any longer. Oh, no. And we are still alive, I suppose, but we are not well. So I'm going to be dead in a few days. You take another step back in fear and regret. You have but a few days. Can I not use my gorilla to heal me? Um, Could I pray to the gorilla? Well, no, that's that, that's only sometimes an option in the oh, options. That will come right. up as an option. Okay, are you sure? You ha there is no question, you must do what you can for these people. Cast a spell! I don't know what I can... What can you do? options now. Boom, I don't know. No, I'm not sure. I don't think there's any different options here. I can't see anything, can you? Foff and rock and no, I think it's all the same options. Oh, what can you do? What have I got? This sort of healy. Ah, you didn't get the medicinal poison at the start of the game. Poison potion. Medicinal potion. You didn't get the medicinal potion, Simon. Surely just, just ah oh, bollocks. I think the only thing you can do. This isn't good. Can we do... Oh, no, you can't do that. You can do... Uh, back. You can what do back? cause stupidity. What's that going to do? I think I'm already suffering from that. <laughs> I just shook hands with someone with the plague. You cast the spell quickly. The family do not appear to change. Oh, wow. dear. Well, that's it. You got the plague, you flipping idiot. Well, I know that if I find a potion that I can heal myself. Yeah, imagine. but the poor old villagers, they're all still screwed, and now that you've got the plague and all. Well, I didn't know. What a disaster! All right, we're going to carry on. It said it was like a prison camp. I didn't realise it was like a plague... A plague-ridden village. village. What a disaster. Well, you were scared, though. You, were, you thought it was some sort of trap. And it wasn't a trap. They were just ill. That's quite sad, really, It isn't is a bit it? sad. And I couldn't help them. 
the, the path beyond the village. Well, don't worry. Maybe got... the next adventurer will come by. And save them. Maybe he'll get the medicinal potion. Maybe if, if people actually have sorcery, they can yeah. get the medicinal potion. The path them. beyond the village heads downhill once more between thick trees <laughs> before turning into a narrow goat track. A goat track. From the summit, you get a wide apparently. view. Do you want to look around? Uh, yes, yeah, let's have a look around. I might get a better idea of where I should be going. Oh, God. Ahead, down a steep slope, the next village is sprawled out before you, and even from here you can catch the sound of oh, merry voices fuck. and shouting from the streets. It must be a carnival! But looking right, you hear a roaring noise and could just make out a beautiful, majestic waterfall plunging from a cliff well, into a great lovely. rock bowl. Beautiful. You are feeling cold. Purple blotches are breaking out on the backs of your hands. I pray for healing. OK, let's pray to the spirit of the gorilla. Now I'm out of the village. You drop to your knees, shivering and shaking, and mouth a fervent prayer to your Please, spirit. Please, gorilla! Please! Does it hear you? Please! It's hard to tell. But then Monkey you begin to feel warmth creeping through your bones, and purple marks on your skin are fading away. You are cured. It's a Christmas miracle, Lewis. Holy crap. You raise a cheer to the spirit for such aid. But what about the people you have left behind? They have no such guardian. Well... There you go, your gorilla stepped in... Cheers, gorilla. ...the king of the great apes, a creature of honour and good faith, who accepts that both danger and misfortune as travelling companions without hesitation. There you go. That was good. He that saved good. your ass. You were very lucky there to get out of that one. I knew that he was always an option, though. I, was just, I just had to wait for him to pop up and say... <laughs> You've never asked him for anything else, so... No. You know, no. you're very welcome. And I've offered him so many things. I do sacrifices to him. Do you? You leave out bananas. Babies and oh, they, oh no. yeah, bananas. I you leave mean. out bananas. I leave the, out uh, bananas on the under oh. the chimney. I leave them in the fruit bowl, and then I don't eat them, and they go off, and then they make everything else go off because they emit that weird gas that makes everything rot. Do, um, oh, banana yeah. gas. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, it is. Well, there you go. Some way down the hill, you stop for a rest and sit in a bowl to survey what lies ahead. The path leads downwards, and at its foot, cradled between three peaks, is a village. Behind you, the sun is falling rapidly into the hills. Let's check out the village. I mean, it went so well last time I checked out the village. The village looks like a good place to stop. I mean, I got the plague and all, but, you know, I got better. You hop down from the boulder and make your way forward when an overhanging branch touches your face and you hear a lively chirping. What are you going to do? Freeze! Freeze! You freeze. Hovering by your shoulder is a small creature the size of a bird. It is childlike but very thin with green skin and it flits around hey, you on hey, listen. transparent wings. Hey! Oh no, hey, no, listen. please. Hey, listen! Hey! Hey, listen! It that seems, is so high pitched. It's awful, isn't it? Fuck. It seems friendly enough. God, I made my ears. It go. even lands on your shoulder. It's tiny clawed oh, toes God. pinching slightly. Do you know what it sounds like? It sounds like one of those squeaky toys, you know. Like that. Well, what the fuck are you doing? It's like a toy with a, it's like a toy with a squeaker in it, like Hannah's parrot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it's. What are you gonna do to it? Talk to it, shake it loose, cast a spell. So it's 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 on my shoulder. Yeah. Um. Talk to it. Sure. Greetings, little creature. Oh my god. Uh, and hello to you! My name is John! There you go, that's what he looks like. Oh my god, he's naked! He's got, he's naked and he's got a little oh. tail. He's a creepy little bastard. Um, what do you want to do to him? What do you want to say? Uh, what are, what, what the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm a fairy! He is a fairy, isn't he? Yeah, probably. Are you, you're asking, what are you? What are you? The creature does a backflip and gives a low bow. I'm a mini-mite! I don't know how you do it that high. It reaches out a tiny hand and shakes your earlobe. Okay, what are you going to say? Pleased <laughs> <laughs> to meet you. Um, uh, what can you tell me about the village? Let's just have a normal conversation with it. Sure. <laughs> maybe if this is normal. You know, maybe I've met many mini mites. Maybe. Go then, what does he say? Um, what can you tell me about the village? Is it safe? <laughs> That's biryani! 
and it's very <laughs> safe. <laughs> Biryani is close enough. Curry. It's close enough. Biryani is very safe. It's the largest village in the whole of the Shamudanti Hills. Every traveller who comes this way spends at least one night there. So it's a little bit expensive, but especially for mini mites, but pleasant enough. So yeah. mini mites either get charged more in the place or their income's quite low. Well, I think it would be very difficult for them to have a, a wallet, you know, with gold oh, coins yeah. in it. A gold coin. Ooh, I'm holding a gold coin. Come on, let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, they probably don't need to eat very much. What do you want with me? Yeah, where do they sleep? It's not like they sleep in a bed. There you go. That's what he wants with you. See that village? Last time I tried to go through, they told me I wasn't welcome. So I wouldn't mind some protection. There you go. Can I put a condom on him? <laughs> wow, probably. Put him in your pocket. What if you, well, you've got four options, so... Uh, it's one of them... No. <laughs> okay. Um, I can protect you, little fella. Okay, there you go. I shall protect you! The creature squeezes your shoulder gently. It's like having a spider try to burrow into your skin. Ah! The creature flits to your other shoulder. You're not in any hurry, are you? Do you want to sleep out in the rough? Why is he propositioning me? What's wow, going on? it's gone a bit rough. Um, well, let's get going. Anyway, time's getting on. We should, uh... Yeah. A creature shakes you by the ear in excitement and you set off along the path once more. You descend into the bowl of the valley. The hills on either side are toweringly tall and throw the village into deep shadow. Ooh. It would seem a th very gloomy, threatening place, but from the streets come the distant sound of laughter and merriment. So is this the carnival town? It is. You strip off your clothes and dive into the pool. While Yan flitters through the frost. Suddenly gone sexy! <laughs> oh my yeah. god.